Hello, Sagittarius. I'm here to um, bring forward a general message for the sign of Sagittarius. So anyone with Sagittarius strongly in their chart could resonate with this message. That said, it will not fit for everyone. So please be discerning um, to accept this reading as your own. Um, please use your inner guidance to help you to determine if this is um, a reading for you or not. All right, so let's move forward. Um, my beautiful friends, I do um, invite you into um, this space. Um, the world does seem like a much smaller place um, when we connect in this way. All right, let's go ahead and um, see what um, message is here for Sagittarius. Whew, I'm, okay, so <clears throat> already I am just kind of, um, the energy kind of hit me, so I'm very curious to see what's, what's going to come out today. Um, Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and say it so I don't have to say it before I get started, but um, just a reminder, this is for the next short incoming period of time. So um, we're looking at the next couple of weeks, the next month or so, um, as you step into this new wave of energy um, that's coming towards you. All right. What is the current energy for Sagittarius? What is the current energy for Sagittarius, please? What is the current energy for Sagittarius? Current energy for Sagittarius. Current energy for Sagittarius, please. King of Cups in the upright didn't quite come out. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Devil Energy, the Star Energy, and the Four of Cups. This is the current energy for the sign of Sagittarius. Let's look at um, the immediate future here. What is the next immediate future that Sagittarius will be stepping into, will be walking into? What is the next immediate um, future that Sagittarius will be stepping into, please? <clears throat> Ace of Wands flipped over, but did not find its way out. We have a lot of flippers here. Let's... Woo! I'm telling you, this is quite powerful. Two of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Didn't see what that was. We'll see when it comes time. Four of Swords flipped over in a mighty way, my friends. And guidance, please, for Sagittarius. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius. It's just really sad. Sometimes this happens to me when I get into the fire energies. Um, but honestly, this is really incredibly powerful. So I'm really interested to see what this story is. All right. So I have all of the cards um Hold here, and we're at two, three minutes and 27 seconds. Not bad for me, Saggy, for those of you that have followed me. Not bad for shuffling time. All right. Um, so I just finished the, was it the Leo reading? And that was a, a quite, like a deep reading, uh, very divine energy, very connected in with um, some very deep and divine energy. Um, in this energy of Sagittarius, it's a more powerful um, a more light stepping energy. It's, it's a powerful bursting of energy. Um, there is a connecting in with deep, profound energy here, but it is a much more springing forward kind of energy. Springing forward, um, in a bouncing type way is, is how I feel when I'm connecting into Sagittarius energy. Um, we have Eight of Pentacles energy here. So you are very focused on something. Super driven, super focused. You might not be seeing everything that's happening around you now. There could be some things happening, some activities taking place that you're not aware of or you're choosing to ignore. I think that's perfectly fine because you have the devil energy here next to the star energy. So, um, and the four of cups, there is, let me get into, let me, let me sink into this devil energy for a moment here. This has to do with some sort of, so when I sink into this energy, um, 
there is a victory here. So the first thing that I did, you couldn't see me, um, was I smiled. So there is a victory here. There's some sort of celebration. And then I felt a headache. Um, so that tells me that there was something here that was extremely stressful for you. It could have impacted um, neurons in the brain. It could have impacted your your thoughts and, um, and maybe um, you did not have the ability to think through this. Um, it is in the frontal lobes. That's where I'm feeling the pain. And I'm not a doctor, so I, I don't really... Um, you can take from this what it means, but something about the frontal lobes, um, that's where the stress is. Um, and also, I feel it in the throat chakra. So um, this kept you from your truth. This kept you from who you were. Um, this was confusing for you. Um, you there there could have been some trauma to the brain or some trauma to um, your your sensory uh, sensory abilities to experience joy. Something here was. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to stay in this energy for too long, but I do feel there's a victory over this. Um, the heart, your heart is beginning to beat again. Um, I feel like you're beginning to breathe again. You're beginning to uh, take in the oxygen around you, take in the air around you. You're beginning to learn how to receive, receive in a healthy way, receive in a way that's equal for you. Um, again, it was a heavy energy and it affected the mind. It affected the clarity of mind. It affected, um, you're working on this, but I, I think for many of you, you have found victory over this, or you're finding victory as we speak over this. Um, you're healing from a very difficult period of time um, where you were either um, living in a lack of moderation, living in an obsessed place, or living in a captive place where you were captive or oppressed or suppressed. Um, again, you're, you are... You are focusing on the future here. You're not looking up. You're staying in your lane. You're not getting pulled into other projects or other um, into other people's business. And you could be intentionally ignoring. I feel like this person is a, intentionally ignoring um, the voices and the drama and the um, complexities and the toxic toxicities that are around him or her. I feel like um, this voice saying, hey, hey. Hey, what you doing? What you doing? Um, uh, it could even be like that. It's not, it's probably not between a child and a parent, but I just, in my voice, I hear when my kid was little and I was focusing maybe on work or I was focusing on something I was doing and this, and my kid would say, mom, 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 mom. And then I would look over and say, what, 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 what's going on? And then he would look around like he wasn't sure like what he wanted to say. He just needed my attention. And of course, I gave it to him. Um, he's a good boy and he's, um, I'm very proud of him now. He's a grown up. He's an adult now. Um, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. So it's this, this, um, this, you're really focusing, you're really focusing on now, um, on whatever it is you're working on. And you feel like there is a real sense of victory here or there is a real abundant prosper, prosper, prosper. <clears throat> I'm, I'm catching on that word. Um, so there is here working through some kind of um, learning how to receive, learning how to bring in abundance into your life. Because I, I, tr I was trapped up on that prosperous word, pro prosperity, prosperity, prosperous. I'm going to say it again, prosperous, 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 prosperity, prosperity. Um, you're working on bringing in prosperity into your life and financial freedom, financial pro um, Again, it catches on that word. So there's there are some people here that are working on financial abundance, working on receiving, working on um, finding within themselves the the creative energy or the passion or the flow of 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 um, fire that helps you connect into whatever your passion is and whatever your abundance is. Um, and you're staying very focused on that. You're not allowing yourself to get um, drawn into activities and into ways of thinking and into communities that um, create complexity or create distraction, create drama that pulls you from your goal, pulls you from your life path, pulls you from your path to um, succession or success or success here. We do have the star energy. So there is a path that is coming clear to you. Um, some kind of destiny that's opening up to you or that you're opening up the doors to your own destiny here. 
Um, Any time that we can look the devil in the eyes and find um, freedom from the oppression that lies therein, um, any time we can do that, we can find new freedom, um, a, new, a new flight. We can give ourselves a new kind of flight. Um, we can give ourselves a new kind of empowerment. We can step forward understanding who we are, um, who we are in, in our place in the, in the universe, our place in the cosmos. Um, we can, be, we can become one with, with that, that we identify with as a star energy. We do have the four of cups here. So this is an energy of, um, looking clearly at life that's before us, looking clearly at it, um, knowing clearly, um, now which option is for us, um, seeing the truth of our, our potential, seeing the truth of what is being extended towards us and knowing what um, is right for us. Because I think um, the energy that I'm getting here with this Four of Cups is that this person has chosen um, the cup here. This person has chosen the cup, has chosen the path, and now is looking at the other options, other duties, other responsibilities, and trying to determine, okay, what do I do with these other responsibilities? What do I do with these other tasks that are at hand? Um, do I continue to work with them? Do I delegate them to someone else? Do I sell them? What do I do with these other focuses, these other um, business ideas or these other projects that I have going on? How do I manage this? How do I manage these things around me? Because I really, truly know what my true passion is here. And now I have to figure out, okay, um, there are some elements in my life that are no longer inspiring me. What do I do? I only want to focus on this one thing now. Um, I, when I have a taste of, um, what is truly mine, everything else that is not mine, this is what this, this is the energy that I'm in. Everything else that is not mine becomes very clear. And I now have to figure out, okay, what am I going to do with these things? Because I only really now truly know what my passion is. And these other offers here hold no, they hold no, um, mystery for me. They hold no adventure for me. They hold no solace for me. They are just something that brings um, work and discontent and apathy into my life. And so I have to figure out now how, what to do with these other elements in my life that I have focused on in the past because they are no longer bringing me um, the kind of emotional fulfillment that this one path does. Could be people in our lives, could be work projects, could be different um, hobbies that we have. There could be different relationships that we've been in. Um, but there is some sort of deliberation here. Now that we found our truth, we found the path that we are meant to walk on or, or whatever this, our destiny or our health or whatever this is for us. Um, this person is now, or this group of Sagittarius is now looking at life and saying, okay, what do I do now with the rest of this? And just trying to figure that out. There, it is emotional and it does um, bring up some insecurities here, some worries, um, but with the star energy here and success over what kept you in a limited space before, I think that um, it's you're going to be able to think through this. All right, let's look at what is coming up ahead for you now. Um, what is coming up ahead for this group of Sagittarius people? What is coming up ahead? All right, we have Knight of Wands. This is how you move. It's a beautiful energy. It is your natural energy of movement forward. And um, we have the Seven of Swords coming out. Did I take that off the top? No, I moved it that way on purpose. Okay. We have the Five of Swords here. We have this. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, I feel like, well, how I felt was when I put these energies down, I felt like it was all jumbled up and I was like, okay, what is the order again? What's the order? I, this could all be very disorganized for you moving into the future. You could be moving into a period of um, disorganization or restructuring in your life. There's a lot of swords here. Um, there's a lot of 
Okay, let me start. I'm going to start with the Knight of Wands, and we'll move through this, and I'll see if I can clarify what I'm feeling here. Um, but it is affecting the the um, sacral chakra. Um, it is kind of a surprise, and it does cause some kind of energy depletion in the abdomen area. Um, so this is about your safety and security. It's about your... Um, it's about who you are, your identity of who you are. Um, that's what the next couple of weeks is about. Um, and maybe not in such a hugely significant way because we're talking about the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks here. Um, but it is something that bears weight on who you are and your safety and security in your own journey. Um, we have the Knight of Wands. So you're moving forward very passionately. There could be someone coming towards you very quickly or a situation coming towards you very quickly. Um, you're a changing course here. So you're working on changing course in your life. Um, there has been some real pain here with the Three of Swords over the top of the Seven of Swords. So um, you, you have moved forward in a powerful way. Um, it, you had to use this kind of energy to move through this. You're, you're going to have this to use this bursting of energy to move through this situation because um, it's going to feel thick. Um, you know this is coming in, Sagittarius. There's something here that's happening that you know is coming in. And you're preparing now to move forward in a very powerful way through whatever the situation is. Don't worry, Sagittarius. You have the passion. You have the power. You have the ability to move through this. This is your energy. This is your natural ability. You are in your own truth here as a temperance energy. This is your energy. If there's any energy for Sagittarius, it is the Knight of Wands, I feel. It is It is a beautiful um, energy, and you're moving in your own energy. That's beautiful. I do feel like this is you. Um, there has been um, a situation here um, that has caused you some type of pain, and you're moving away. You're adjusting what you're doing. You're changing up what you're doing. You might be up and leaving. Um, you might be reducing your workload. You might be changing projects. You might be altering what you do in your company. You might be adjusting your thoughts or your belief system. There's something here that was difficult for you, and because of this, because of the Three of Swords here, you are revising what you're doing and changing course in some way. There is new momentum here, and I think you're finishing up some type of battle you've been having. You could have having you could have been having a battle with yourself. Um, you could have been having a battle with coworkers or with your family or with a lover. Um, but it looks like this is coming to an end now. There is a final in the next couple of weeks. There's like a final push. There's a final push towards success, and. Um, I see you being successful because look at the beautiful energy that we have. You, you're entering into this period of time in the Knight of Wands, powerful, passionate, bursting of energy through whatever this is. And then as you come out of it on the other side, you're in the Six of Wands. So you're super victorious in this. The Wheel of Fortune is here. So there is new movement. There's new finality. There is new um, completion here and moving into the next thing. But it feels like there's a wave here that's going to come in and hit you and you're going to kind of have to move through it, work your way through it. Um, there's a little bit of a battle here that you're going to be fighting. Don't worry, Sagittarius. The five of swords is an energy of victory. Um, it does feel like it's somewhat unnecessary. Why this happened? I don't know. You know why this had to happen. It seems like it didn't have to happen in the first place. It was some sort of pain or betrayal that you're questioning why this even happened. Um, but ultimately, in the end, it's going to help you to change something about what you're doing. Um, it was probably lurking around um, in the in the periphery of your existence for some time. And eventually it, it came to the forefront and it was a battle that um, was brought forward to you that you are altering course, changing something, moving forward a different way now, um, taking your ideas, taking your clarity, taking the newfound belief system that you have acquired, that this has actually given you, you've acquired a new um, belief system or new way of moving forward or altering course or having some new clarity where you didn't have clarity before. Um, it, it is an energy of alter, altercation, alteration, um, and moving forward. And there's a fin final, there's a finality, there's a f f finale to, uh, fin Finalization, this word keeps circling. Finalization, final communication, final work being done, final discussion, whatever it is, there's something final here. A chapter is closed and you're moving forward in a new, beautiful, passionate way into something new in the future here with the Six of Wands. So that's what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. It's super clear. It's here. 
Um, it, it's, it's very, and it does have something to do with receiving because when my left arm tingles, when my hand tingles and my wrist tingles, that tells me this is about receiving and allowing yourself to receive something new, receive something more. Um, you've been giving quite a lot in the past. You've been giving, and now it's time to begin to receive, to allow yourself to receive, to claim it for your own, right? To claim it for your own and then to receive it. Um, is a powerful statement, is a powerful move, and there's passion here and future success with the Six of Wands. Remember, the Six of Wands is an energy of forward movement. It's stepping up, stepping up in ranks, stepping up over the crowd, and moving forward with something you might not have done before. Um, you could be a little hesitant. You could be a little scared inside. You could be on your knees in prayer that morning and stepping into a crowded room full of people in the afternoon and having none of those people see um, the depth of insecurity within you or the doubt you might have within you, um, stepping forward and overtaking the fear that you might have, trusting in your spiritual team, um, even great leaders, even powerful heroes in the world um, have moments of doubt, my friends, and need to connect in with their spiritual teams. So even if you are down on your knees in prayer in the early morning, um, you will be able to step into this, my friends. You will be able to step into this with so much empowerment, with so much passion. You will feel it in yourself and you will feel your spiritual team walking next to you, um, next to you, um, holding your hands as you step into this new um, I see for some of you a crowded room. I see for others of you a new path. Um, but you are taking this on. You know that you have the skills. You have the capacities. You have the perseverance and the tenacity and the empowerment and the passion and the drive and the will to do whatever this is. And my head is cold. My body is cold. So this is truth. This is truth, my friends. So if you're resonating with this, my, when my head gets cold and my back shivers, that tells me that there is some... Um, this is right on. This is right on, my friends. So whatever this last step is for you, that you're stepping through the wheel of fortune is here. This is a closing. This is moving forward. This is moving on. This could be a stroke of luck. This could be new revenue. Um, this could be a new project. Whatever this is for you, there's new momentum here. And you're taking this. You're taking the reins in hand. You're stepping forward in a very passionate way, very centered, almost like the chariot. This almost feels like the chariot to me. This is almost like the chariot energy. If the chariot energy came out in just one card, it would like sing, it would like simplify this whole message. Powerful, passionate, aligned and balanced movement forward. Um, but there is a story here. That's why the chariot couldn't come out by itself. There is a story here and we had to address, we had to talk about um, the gritty, the grittiness of this journey for you. Um, the, the, toll it took on your mental capacities, the toll it took on um, your mind and your sense of yourself and your sense of your own empowerment. And it really, um, there's a story here of, of learning the truth about something, facing the pain, altering your course, um, finding um, the power within yourself to make decisions that are best for yourself. This is fighting against what other people are wanting or fighting against some greediness or fighting against something where somebody is telling you you're being greedy, you're not thinking about me, you're not thinking about my wants and my wishes, and here you are saying, what about my passions? What about my dreams? What about my goals? What about my flame inside of me? It's roaring to come out. It's roaring. It's here. The time has come for me to cross my own bridge, for me to set sail, sail on my own ship out into my own sea. And we see you doing that with the Six of Wands. Very dramatic. So... I know this is very dramatic and I can get dramatic when I'm in the fire energy, um, but there is something very dramatic about this. Even if this is taking on a new project and telling someone else that you, you know, you feel like you feel like Betty over here would be, would be someone who, um, and if your name is Betty, that doesn't mean it's okay. Don't worry. I just, you know, um, Betty over here might be a better person to work on your project. I am, um, feeling much more passionate about this project and I really need to focus on it. I really feel like it's the place for me. So I am going to delegate this other project over here to Betty. She's a great um, thinker. She's a very creative um, artist and she will be able to take this on and do a really great job for you. I am going to focus on this other thing and off you go. Could be as simple as that. Um, but 
there's something here, there's a story of some kind of trauma here amidst all this. And usually when we set off on a new course like this, there is usually a backstory that helps us to get to that place. Let's look to see what the guidance is for you. What is the guidance here for Sagittarius? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the King of Wands. And we have the King of Pentacles. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. This is passionate action. Um, so this is the guidance that's coming in. Um, the guidance is, yes, this can be stressful. Yes, it can cause anxiety. Um, you might have an overabundance of energy. It might be hard for you to sleep at night. You might be awake just thinking about different elements of the future and really not knowing how to move forward and really feeling doubt in yourself. That's what I felt earlier when I said you might be down on your knees in prayer, um, but know that you will have the passion. You will have the ability. You will have the capacity to channel the words when the time has come for you to speak. It will be there. You have to trust it. Um, they're saying this is the end of an era of difficulty, of pain, of anguish. Um, they're saying this is the end now. Um, so whatever you're doing here, especially with that devil energy that we saw in the current energy, um, this is a period of time that's that's moving to an end for you, that's coming to an end. And um, we have the King of Wands here and the King of Pentacles. I think these are fragments within yourself that are becoming very powerful as you move into the future. Um, the King of Wands is an energy... Um, I'm going to read this as energies that are within yourself. I really feel for many of you that that's what this is. Um, these could be people. Um, I'll touch on that just briefly when I'm done explaining this in case this is a, these are people that are in your life. Um, because an energy can um, represent a person and it can also represent a fragment of focus within you. Um, and I think for many of you, this is the King of Wands. This is taking action. Um, both of these are masculine energies and both of these are very active energies. Um, the King of Wands is a, a mover and shaker. Um, the King of Wands is, is, can be a performer. The King of Wands is an influencer. The King of Wands can inspire, encourage, move the hearts of man. The King of Wands can invent. Um, the King of Wands can create. He can go into a space where there's where there's a lack of something or where he can take a bare piece of land and he can build something very successful upon the land. Um, where there is nothing, the King of Wands can create something um, successful. The King of Wands can be, find success with nothing. He can work his way up from nothing and move into a very successful place and he can do it with passion. With the King of Wands energy, the, the, the fulfillment is in the journey. Not necessarily in the destination, but much more in the journey, in the creation process, in the in the um, excitement, in the adventure, in the challenge. That's the King of Wands energy. Um, very charismatic energy, very um, attractive energy, um, very much um, energy that can influence and pull people, um, pull creatures, pull living beings towards him or her. So this could be a man or woman, but this would just be the energy um, that you would be in. And there is guidance here that this is a part of you that will become quite active as you move into the future. Um, again, you are temperance energy and you are very much the King of Wands. Um, it, it's very fitting that the King of Wands is here. This is Sagittarius, Leo or Aries. So I think that you're again, you're working in your natural energy here and creating, ma creating major changes and improvements in your environment that's around you. And, and really build, building to revolutionize your experience in some way. Revolutionize. Revolution is the word. Revolution. Revolutionize your life. I'm having your own little individual revolution here is what's happening. The King of Pentacles is here as well. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this is um, taking motion now, taking action now to create a stable financial foundation for yourself and for your family. Um, you are working to build an uh, energy of comfort and energy of stability around what you own, your home, your job, your bank accounts. Um, you are wanting to um, bring in a healthy, robust financial st um, stability for yourself and for your family. So there is a focus now on rebuilding, on, on revolution, on rebuilding, on, on creating uh, a firm foundation that you can rest 
um, your weary body in at nighttime, you can be secure and safe and know that you will have the finances um, to and the resources to be effective in whatever this journey is. Um, the King of Pentacles works very hard. He's usually a business person. He usually works with money in some way. He could work with real estate, with property, um, with with gold or silver. Um, he is very much focused on um, the economy, on trade, on goods and services, and he um, works very hard, very hard, could be an overachiever, or you could be in an energy now of, of working long hours and being consumed with whatever this is that you're, that you're moving towards, because this is going to bring um, a new vitality, a new um, stability to um, your 3D experience, and you are going to revolutionize your life in some way with the King of Wands. So that's the guidance here. If this is a person um, with the King of Wands, I kind of described this energy in this person. So I'm not going to actually describe both of these people. The energy and the people are the same. So however I described these people, this energy, the people would be the same way. Um, if these are people, um, you could be you you would be the King of Wands, and you could be working with the King of Pentacles partner. Um, this partner, whether they are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or not would be a very hard worker. They could be a funder. They could have the money. They could have um, the, the system. They could have the process. And you would revolutionize yourself within that. Um, they would be, they could be a business owner. They could be an administrator. They could be um, someone here, a financial advisor or an investor in whatever you're doing. Um, so you could have a partner here. And whether this is a man or a woman, this person is very active in creating abundance for his own um, for his own future. So whatever he's doing, this would be a business partnership. Um, you guys could be married, even a man or woman. It doesn't matter. Genders don't matter. We're in the energies here. Um, you could be married. You could. This could be a work partner. Um, this could be anyone who is um, around you, but they have some sort of an economical connection with you. That's if these two individuals are people. And remember, this was guidance. So for many of you, these are fragments within yourself and the goals that you're having for yourself. But again, for some of you, there could be a partner here um, that has this sort of business-like connection with you. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to take a little bit of break here. Uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to look into um, some energies that I see here. I want to look at the Wheel of Fortune. So I want to look deeper into the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I want to look at the star energy to see what the destiny is here. And I think I'm going to look at this six of wands energy. So I'm going to look at these three energies, go quite deep into these energies in the extended reading. And then I'll look at the people who are around you and um, what their intentions are. So that is the goal of the extended. Um, for, for those of you that are here that are satisfied with this reading, that, that makes me really happy. Um, and for those of you that want to move to the extended, feel free to do that. I wish all of you um, a beautiful week. Thank you all very much, Sagittarius. It's always a pleasure to read for you.